In this video we will make this window with a niche around it. We will be using a face-based family to create this. Open a face-based family template. At the ref level create a couple of parallel reference planes as shown here. The planes have been placed one on each side of the central plane. Place aligned dimensions between the three planes. Press equal to make the distance between them equal. Also place an aligned dimension between the two new planes. Repeat the same for the other direction as well. Create new parameters for the width and the depth. Write depth is equal to half of the width. Or this could be any other relation as required. Place one more reference plane and place an aligned dimension between the two planes. Create a new parameter for the radius of the arc that we are going to place. Select reference line and from the toolbox pick the center ends arc tool. Place the arc as shown. The ends of the arc should be placed at the intersection of the planes and locked. As we increase the distance rad d the arc becomes flatter. And when the rad is decreased the arc becomes more circular. Place the arc for the other half as well. Join the ends of the arcs with reference lines as shown. An inside scare for the window is to be made for which we will place reference planes as before parallel to the central planes in both the directions. Create new parameters for the width of the window in both the directions.
place a square at the inner reference plane's intersections, and lock. Create a blend with the outer rectangle and the inner square. At the front elevation place two reference planes. Create parameters for the wall thickness and niche depth. Align the blend edges with the reference planes and lock. The wider edge is to be aligned to the front reference plane. Select the blend and change to void. Create a new extrusion with the inner square for the opening of the window. Align the edges of the extrusion to the edges of the wall and lock. Hold the extrusion and change to void. So both the forms have been changed to voids. Create a new file project type. Place a wall at the level 1. Adjust the length and height of the wall. Load the first file into the project file. Check in the box cut with voids when loaded. Hold the wall and duplicate type properties. In the edit button apply material to the wall. Also change the thickness of the wall. Place components at the wall. 
make sure the place on face option has been selected. Cut geometry to cut the void out. Hold the component and associate the parameters to the new parameters. In the Manage tab go to the Global Properties and make the wall thickness equal to the thickness of the wall. Change other parameters values as required. All the components are same here as we have the parameters with type properties. If we want to have different values of arc radii then we have to make the rad d value as an instance. Hold each component and change the value of rad. As we increase the value the arc becomes flatter. When rad is zero the arc does not form and it shows an error so overcome this we need to write a condition statement. Create a new parameter rad and in front of rad d write the condition statement. Rad equal to 1 will be applied for rad equal to 0 automatically and the model will not fail. Please like, share and subscribe.